I told myself I was gonna film this video for you guys no matter what, and I was gonna be today. It might be snowing a little bit, but I'm gonna film this video no matter what. Welcome back to Sploosh MTV Day. We've got something different for you guys. Today is not a mountain biking video. This is a mountain biking channel. However, that is a gravel bike. That's my new gravel bike. That is my Linsky GR300 titanium gravel bike. Let's dive into it. A lot of you may be wondering why a gravel bike? Why titanium? Why a Linsky? Let's take a look. As a lot of you guys know, my last gravel bike was a steel all city gravel bike. It was the Nature Cross All City. That had a sad story. So if you haven't watched that video already, it's gonna be in that corner, that corner, one of the corners. <laughs> Go check out that video because that basically ended up being a stolen bike. I gave it back to the person it was stolen from. Alas, no more All City. So we upgraded, nowhere to go but up. We went to Titanium. The first question is, why a gravel bike? This is a mountain biking channel. I'm a mountain biker. Well, there are many disciplines to the art of riding bikes outside in nature. One of them being the gravel bike. Gravel bikes are cool. One thing I'm getting a little bit more knowledgeable in is where we take them, things like that, because these bikes can actually also ride single track. I mean, as spicy as you want to make it, really. And that's why I got a titanium one. Let's address the next question. Why Alinsky? Well, Honestly, I didn't know much about the brand at first. I just saw it was a cool brand out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's where they hand weld their frames. I noticed they were running a mean discount. <laughs> when people see this bike, especially a titanium frame and with the build that came out this nicely, a lot of people are inclined to think that I spent a lot of money on it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they were running an amazing sale. So I had to take advantage of that and grab this bike at a great deal. And man, I have no regrets. Next question. What do we plan on doing with the channel with this bike? The main thing is honestly, this channel is based around big adventures on the bike, right? Gravel bike, let's go on big adventures. So I plan on taking this thing to a lot of places, going long distances, and honestly just having a great time with it. Get out to like breweries, get out to vineyards, get out to cool locations, and just ride countryside and honestly just explore. Like this is gonna be a pure adventure bike and I can't wait to really, really put it out there. Let's talk about some parts, because I know a lot of you guys out there, some bike nerds, let's talk about some parts. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I'm not the smartest person when it comes to bikes. I'm definitely not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to bikes, but we'll go through this together. First thing, of course, the frame, the Linsky GR300 titanium frame. And these are hand welded in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and they come with a carbon fork. Don't ask me exactly what kind of carbon fork it is because I can't tell you off the top of my head. This version is the externally routed cable version because the idea with this bike is I want to be able to do some of the work on my own. I know, I know, that's not like me at all. I, every chance I get, I run to Patapsco Bicycles and I say, hey, help me do this, you know, fix this bike for me. And thankfully with this build also, they did the majority of the work and built this one up for me. So shout out Patapsco again. This one I want to be able to do some of the work on myself. And who knows, sometimes when I do work on my own bikes, they just break more. So that's why I go back to Patapsco if I need it. This is their size large. Uh, they kind of don't really have it classified by like um, centimeter sizing, but this would be equivalent to like a 58, 59 centimeter frame. Addressing the elephant in the room, yes, I need to cut this stereo tube. And that is something I've been procrastinating on 
taking it back to the shop, getting that cut. So soon this thing will look picture perfect. Let's start uh, up front. Let's look at the wheels. So I picked up a killer deal on a used wheel set. This is a DT Swiss rim with Chris King hubs. As soon as I saw how beautiful these wheels were, I knew I had to color code everything to the wheel set. <laughs> the hubs are just so pretty and they're just a really nice wheel set. So I went with the blue muck off valve stems. I went with the blue clipless pedals. I went with some blue titanium screws on the front chain ring as well. I went with the blue accents on the drop bar wraps. And of course, thanks to a good friend of mine, we got the blue Spoosh MTB top cap with a little pink accent. A lot of people say it looks like a boob. Okay, I know it looks like a boob. I like it like that. We'll look at the tires as well. We have the Vittoria Terreno Drive. These are tubeless ready and I already have them set up tubeless. Thank you, Patapsco. And I did actually do one of them myself, okay. And these are 700cc tires. So basically the equivalent of a 29er. To keep the aesthetic alive, I went ahead with some carbon water bottle cages. Because again, this is gonna be an adventure bike. This frame does come with three mounts for water bottle cages. So it's gonna have one here, one here, and optional one here. And then of course, a top mount for a top rack here. The frame also comes with rear fender mounts for any sort of baggage, fender, anything else you wanna add back here, including these on the stays, both sides of course. So it's just gonna be an all around beautiful adventure bike. As far as the drivetrain goes, we are rocking the SRAM Apex. So it's a 10 speed rear cassette. This is only a one by in the front as well. So not gonna be a speed demon on this bike, but at the same time, it's no slouch. This thing moves. Uh, we got the TRP brakes on there, obviously. Uh, the seat post is kind of a uh, random salvage item from one of my buddy's old builds as well. So spare parts put on there. Um, the saddle is also from a friend. So this is actually a Bond Tracker saddle off of a mountain bike, but serves the purpose well. Now, I'm a big advocate for your gravel bike or even your mountain bike for that matter, your bike having personality and it kind of fitting your personality. So some of the big things here, and this is actually a gift and a blessing from one of my friends. This is my dog, Judah. And he's made an appearance on my bike and I couldn't be happier about that. So he's gonna be staying on there. It's a beautiful metallic sticker that was printed on there. Some other accents, of course, all the blue things that I pointed out earlier. Uh, we've got these pink end caps for bar end caps. Um, obviously these were from my old pink wraps on my All City, but I went ahead and redid. I actually did this myself. First time wrapping my own bars and they came out pretty okay. <laughs> I say pretty okay because you can definitely see where there's some, you know, just some cosmetic things that could have been done better. But I think that's it. I think that's everything on this bike that's worth noting. Everything's mechanical so that I can maybe work on it myself if needed to or things can be, uh, you know, fixed in a pinch. Clip those pedals. I have already fallen a few times on that one. <laughs> uh, getting used to it, getting used to it. It's very rare that someone that doesn't know enough about bikes like myself can come into this and get together something that looks and feels as good as this bike does for myself. I couldn't be happier about it. Really, really thankful to everyone that helped out with this build. Patapsco Bicycles, thank you so much. All my friends that came in clutch with some of the parts for this bike, with some of your takeoffs from your, your, your bikes and stuff like that. Thank you so much. This bike is a dream honestly and I couldn't be happier about this build. Let me know what adventures you guys want to see on the channel. Let me know where we want to go. If you guys want to go on an adventure with me, let me know because I know a lot of you guys ride gravel too and I don't know anything about gravel. I want to know more about gravel because it's just it's just being underbiked while mountain biking so but yeah I'm very excited for the future to come with this bike. Uh, gonna cut that stereo tube don't worry it's not gonna like break my freaking rib cage anytime soon hopefully <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think would you go titanium what gravel bikes do you guys ride this is my new linsky gr300 i hope if you're looking for some information on the gr300 i was able to help with that but more than likely this is not an educational channel maybe you also got some inspiration on how to build yours up either way thanks for hopping on the bike check with me 
I'll see you guys in the next one. If you've stuck around this long to the end, thank you. I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge a big change in my life and the channel. Our channel mascot and certified not trail dog, Judah, is no longer with us anymore. At the age of 13 and a half, he's headed to the trails in doggy heaven. And to anyone that's reached out during this time, I appreciate you. For now, his memory lives on with this channel and this bike. So take a moment and enjoy some of the memories that I've chosen to share of Judah. Thank you.